Welcome. My name is Max Ackman, and today I'm going to show you how to use the browsable databases. The first thing we want to do after we get to the library's web page is scroll down and look to the right-hand side of the page for the database link. Once we select that, it'll take us to an alphabetical listing of all of our databases. If we look under Types, we can actually uh, select Browse Before Searching, and it'll give us a listing of 25 databases. And all these databases are uh, very helpful if you don't exactly know what to search and you just kind of want to kind of um, browse a controlled vocabulary. So uh, let's check out CQ. Re Researcher Plus Archive. Um, this is one of our more popular uh, databases, so it would be a good one to start with. Um, once you get here on the front page, there's going to be a number of uh, options to browse. Um, you have some hot topics over here on the side. You have the Equal Rights Amendment, which is the featured uh, report here on the front page, and you can scroll down and actually see some recent reports as well. So let's select uh, Universal Basic Income, it's something that's been in the news lately. Um, and once you go into this report, you'll see uh, the full report is what you come in on. Um, there's a whole bunch of information here on the both sides, actually, here on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. Um, so if you go to like the pro-con, um, you'll get two different people talking about the pros and the cons. Um, a lot of great information there um, that can be had. Um, it can be downloaded. It can be cited. Um, a lot of helpful uh, tips for you here. Um, if this isn't what you're looking for, um, you can browse by topic up here at the top. Um, there's a lot of different uh, topics that you can browse and it has a lot of information in here um, to look through. Not every uh, one of these databases are going to look the same, so let's back out here and let's scroll down to Opposing Viewpoints and Context. Um, this is another popular database of ours and you'll see um, it looks quite a bit different than the uh, CQ researcher. Um, I've already logged in. If you guys have any problems logging in, uh, please reach out to us either through chat or email and we can help you uh, get into these databases. So of course there's a search here at the very top. Um, it's going to give us three different uh, topics here right on the main page that you can search through um, or you can go down even further and you can see um, some more issues, more topics um, that are permanent or pertinent to today's um, climate. Um, and then also you can actually browse their 476 issues if you click to the right there. And you can just see that there are quite a few in here. Um, let's just select pollution. Give it a second to load here. And then you're, uh, it'll start you off with an overview and you can read more about that here. If you scroll down, give it a second to load here. Um, it'll actually break it up into uh, different resources. So you have academic journals, uh, viewpoints, and feature viewpoints are uh, both uh, uh, articles that the editors have chosen, um, and then also primary sources. So if you're looking for a primary source, um, let's just scroll down here and let's jump into a featured viewpoint so you can kind of see um, all the information that is relayed to you. Again, the citation, the ability to download and get the hyperlink is up here at the top. Uh, the title, the author, the publication date, the publisher is all right here available for you. Um, this one is broken up into words. Once you've done enough uh, searching um, these topics, you'll get kind of a better feel for what to search. So that should help you um, search some of the other databases now that you have a better understanding of the jargon that is being used. Um, if you have any troubles, please reach out to us through chat or email.